guy goes home after kicking five field goals in the whole game. Did you get a parade, hero's welcome? <laughs> no, nothing like that. I mean, it felt good because a lot of work went into that. You know, a full season, ups and downs went into that. So it was nice to feel the reward there. But I, I honestly think that coming into this facility after that win was, was very nice. It was a good platform to jump into this following season. So I think it was just, it was nice to come back home, especially, you know, with my parents. They were very proud. I had a lot of family at the game. Um, but like I said, the biggest thing is like, you know, you put the work in, you get rewarded. So that's, that's a big deal. What are some of your individual goals this year? I mean, you're coming in probably as one of the higher regarded kickers in the ACC. I mean, do you have any goals as far as accolades go this year? Uh, you know what? You make your kicks and accolades follow. So my goal is to just go one for one. If you can do that over and over again, you know, you start making your kicks like we saw last year, you know, maybe a little struggle at the beginning, but we finished, I think, 16 and 17, um, which is phenomenal, you know. So we can just strive for that perfection, like I've always said, to strive for it. Um, and just to chase the one for one over and over again, the accolades will follow. When you go back and watch that film from the beginning of last year, compared to where you're at now, would you say that's a different Ben Sauls or a more improved Ben Sauls? What do you think, like, comparing and contrasting where you are now versus where you were then? Uh, I think I changed my mindset to not be so outcome oriented. Um, if I focus on my process, you know, if I step where I want to step and I plant where I want to plant and I follow through and, and hit the ball where I want to hit it, Nine times out of ten, it's going to go exactly where I want it to go. Um, so it's more just being process oriented, focusing on the process to get that outcome, and the outcome will be there. Speaking on putting the ball where you want it to go, I hear you're a pretty good golfer. Do you have a handicap? Uh, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what my handicap is right now, but okay. last year I think I ended the season around six or seven. Okay. So you play more fun this off season? Oh yeah, we play that. We play down in El Paso. We had a few courses down there, but uh, around here I love Cranberry Highlands, um, Quick Silver Golf Course, um, Meadow Inc, which is around the corner around here, um, further east. Uh, but there's some good golf around here. It's tough though with all the hills. Mm -hmm. so that, that mindset, that pro process uh, oriented mindset, where did that come from? Did you just kind of come up with that? Did you read it somewhere? Did the coach kind of share that? I could admit you? that, you know, at some point early last season, I was scared to miss. You think about it, why are you scared to miss? You know, if you if you really grind that that process, again, like I said, if you focus on that process, the outcome is it's obsolete. It's going to be most likely where you want it to go. Like I said, nine times out of ten, you can say 99 out of 100. If I do exactly what I want to do, the ball is going to go where I want to go. So I think that's, that was the biggest part of it. I'm not using it. So how big of a re-emphasis was the Sun Bowl and the results that you got because of that process heading into the year? Well, you could call that you could call that a perfect game. I mean, it was it was really unbelievable from, from the line to the snap to the hold. Um, it was nothing different. I wasn't anything of a different person. Um, but that mindset that carried all season long and got built over time through misses and through makes was there, and it was sharp, and it was ready to go, and it was it was time. So it, it, it all just worked out. And so, entering, oh. is it tough? I'm sorry, is it tough to carry over? Like, how do you make sure you maintain that mindset through an off season and into the next season? Um, I don't like to miss. So like every day, our goal is you're, you're gonna you're gonna go perfect. So my my practice on Tuesday, I went. And six for eight. That's not my standard anymore. That's not even if even if I go six for six and I'm not feeling like the ball is where I want it to go. Granted, it went in six times out of six. That's great. But I I can feel that perfection within you know how my foot hits the ball, you know how I'm carrying my body through the ball down my line. If it's going where I want it to go, like I said, the the, the room for error is getting smaller, and and that is what's improving my game. You've applied golf analogies to kicking before, but does that work the other way around? Do you apply kicking analogies to your golf game? I do. I do, because it's all ball contact, consistency, persistency, um, you know, repetition, um, and it's that same form over and over again, one for one, one for one, one for one. So that mindset carries over with both sports. And mm -hmm. last year when you entered the season, you're kind of like an unknown guy as far as, you know, kicking field goals and everything. Fans didn't really know much about what you could do. This year, I mean, when you take the field to line up for something, they're going to think you're kind of like a sure thing in a way, and you've earned that. How good does it feel to be, you know, viewed as someone who they can really rely on, you know, in those big moments? That was my goal coming here as a freshman. I wanted to be the guy that, you know, that's the money guy. We're going to put him out there. We're going to believe in him. We're, we're putting him out there because we know he's going to make it. You know, granted, I can't promise I'm going to make every field goal, but I can promise you that I'm going to, you know, if I focus on that process, he's going to go where I want it. So in regards to that, you know, it's nice being that guy. It's nice having that, you know, not not it's not an authority thing nice having that that maybe um confidence in, you know having so many people confident in me only helps me out you know and at the end of the day i really only need to trust myself but when there's other people who also trust me it makes the whole game a lot easier so is the money guy your nickname is that what no I, I, no no I, I don't have any nicknames right now i, I just want to be the guy like i said who's, who's everyone's confident in him you know he's going to get the job done and in the big moments he's going to hit there's three kickers in a row now blue and kessman you tell we've been successful what's the key to, to being so consistent year after year after year with kickers, or just 
this program? I think the key is to, to believe in yourself. I mean, and that sounds a little bit cliche, but if you trust yourself to a point where, you know, nobody can tell you different, um, that, that's, a, that's a mindset that takes time to build. And it took me three years to do that. Uh, when you go out there, you know, it's, it, I, to this day, I still get a little bit nervous. My heart's beating a little bit. But then I, I look back on, you know, if I focus on these things, I already can assure the outcome. I, mean, I can't, you know, 100% can never happen but i can assure a really really good outcome is golf your primary like getaway activity or do you have something else that like you go to where to reset your brain to kind of like make play sure? hoops hoops oh yeah this okay. team's big i'm playing hoops we, we go light we go real light you okay know, nobody wants to get hurt but i love i love to shoot hoops that, what, that really gets my mind off what's your face. game what's my game yeah what's your style i'm uh you know if i'm going to compare to anybody you know i hate to see like a like a kylie Irving, but that was my style in high school like <laughs> I was a point guard, you know, I was a point guard. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was, right. I'm nice, I'm shifty. You can ask some guys around here, they'll put me top five. So you, you got you, handle that. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's the top five? <laughs> Boy, that's a tough one. And if anyone sees this, they, they'd probably be upset. But uh -oh. I'll, just, I'll just list two guys right now who are top two. MJ Devonshire and okay. Eli Kasanovich. Those guys are top two. Yeah, I've heard, it, I've heard of you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. A couple quip guys, and, and they're real athletic, and we like to play ball. We like to, we like to get after it. Would you were starting point guard? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was starting point guard my freshman season through my junior year when I quit and focused on, on uh, football. You you thousand before points? we get the coach? Would Never you, did. What did you think Never of that did. basketball team run that they just won on it's to the NCAA tournament? It's phenomenal, especially that you know they hook the football guys up with great seats. You know, when the, when, when, <laughs> when the peak is going and it's loud and the team's winning games and they're balling out, that's a lot of fun to watch. I, I would be very proud of those guys. It was great for the program. Thank you, Ben. Thanks, awesome. Ben. Thanks, Thanks Ben.